What should I get for land rent is a question many landlords ask themselves. It used to be that many landlords were retired farmers who had an understanding of what was happening in the land rental market. Now, as the ownership of land is in the process of transitioning to the next generation, many landlords are a generation removed from farming their land and don't have as good a connection to know what's happening in the land rental market. And understandably so. There's no transparent market listing like what you would see for land sales. Both producers and landlords are reluctant to reveal land rental rates. Rates are highly dependent on land productivity and competition for land rent in that area. The only true way to know what land is renting for is to test the market by advertising. Further adding to the uncertainty of land rental markets is changes to the land values that we've seen over the last decade. This chart is from Farm Credit Canada's Farmland Value Report, and it shows the annual changes in farmland value in Manitoba from 2010 to 2019. This is an averaging across Manitoba, so keep in mind there are significant regional differences within the province. The years of 2012 and 2013 jump off the page in terms of their 25% annualized land value increases, with the following years trending back to our long-term average, much like what we see in 2017, 2018, and 2019. The 2012 and 2013 jump in values was mainly attributed to profitable farming years, coupled with some pent-up demand for land. Land rents in many areas did see an increase as well, due to the same factors. However, two factors have led to an uncertainty among landlords as to what they should be charging for land rent. One, some landlords didn't see much of a land rental increase in their area during this time. And two, while other landlords did see a land rental increase in this time span, they are wondering what they should be charging now for land rent. Hi, I'm Darren Bond, Farm Management Specialist with Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development. Today I'm discussing land rents in Manitoba from a landlord's perspective. Please check out my other videos on land rent from a producer's perspective and characteristics of good rental agreements. Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development have developed a resource called Rent Plan to assist landlords to reasonably estimate what they can receive for rent on their land. The factors involved with estimating land rent based on land values is straightforward. First, we need to estimate the value of the land. The tax assessment value can be used as a starting point for this. Landlords can reach out to real estate agents or appraisers to help them determine land value. But be aware that these services can cost anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars, depending on the level of confidence and accuracy of the opinion of value or appraisal. Also, a landlord would want to deal with someone who has experience with agricultural farmland. Secondly, we would need to estimate the investment rate that we could expect from our land investment. As land is considered a low-risk investment, using a rate similar to a GIC, which is a Guaranteed Investment Certificate, or a Savings Deposit Rate would be appropriate. Lastly, we would need to consider our property taxes that we pay to our local government. The Rent Plan resource can be found on our website in either Excel or PDF format, and in printed copies in your local Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development Office. Here is a screenshot of the Rent Plan resource. At the top of the page, we would put in the land value per acre. In this example, we are using $3,000 per acre. We will take the land value and multiply it by our investment rate of return. In this example, the rate ranges from 1.5% to 2%. Lastly, we would add in the property tax on a per acre basis, which in this example is $15 per acre. We would want to make sure we take the property tax amount net of the farmland school tax rebate amount. In this example, the land value based calculation method estimates a land rental amount of $60 to $75 per acre, with the average being $68 per acre. There are some clear strengths to this process. It's a clear and easy way to estimate land rents. Essentially, for every $1,000 per acre of land value, there is approximately $15 to $20 per acre of land rent before taxes. Also, it allows landlords to compare their investment in their rented land with their other investments they may have. Keep in mind that rented land does require some work in respect to tenant relations and rental agreements and is more work than a passive investment like owning stocks or investment funds. But it is also a relatively safe investment and not subject to the volatility we often see in the stock market. When we add the land rental income and the annual land value appreciation, 
farmland can be a good investment. However, there are some limitations to this method. What is the value of my land is a question I often get asked. As mentioned previously, we can use assessment value or seek out qualified advisors to help us answer this question. But to come up with a highly accurate number isn't a cheap or quick process. We also have to be aware of land value market influences other than agriculture making this calculation inaccurate. For example, if a landlord has land close to an urban center with subdivision potential, there could be a market premium for this land over the agricultural value. In this example, the land value based method would overestimate the amount of land rent. As such, this calculation doesn't factor in land rental market influences, which can be quite extreme in some areas. Lastly, the choice in what we use as an investment rate in our calculation isn't always clear and easy to determine. Generally, we want to use the rates of investments that have similar characteristics in terms of risk and reward. Also be mindful that land is not a liquid asset like cash in a savings account. It needs to be sold in order to be turned into cash and that requires time and cost such as selling costs and possible taxes to be paid upon selling. It's important to consider this in expectations for returns in any investment. That wraps up our discussion on land rent in Manitoba from a landlord's perspective. I encourage you to contact us at manitoba.ca forward slash agriculture and toll free at 1-844-769-6224. Follow us on Twitter at mbgovag. Thank you.